Okay guys, so when I say that today I have no idea where I'm going, I have no idea where I'm going. I just took my braids down, I just did my wash and go, and I wanted to play in some makeup and I just felt like channeling to some black girl magic. So if you want to take this ride with me and see how I went from this to this, then keep watching. So this palette came out a little while ago and I wasn't impressed with it but then I saw videos and I was like sis wait a minute hold on might need to play in that. So I went and picked it up. Beautiful vibrant colors. Going to be stepping out of my comfort zone today. And then I also have one of their mini palettes. It's the nudes. Cause I be needing my transition shades. Oh you know what I got the pinks hold on. I might I might do that. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let me grab the pinks. I almost forgot about the sweet pinks. Now, if y'all follow me, y'all know I'm basic Becky, so I'll be keeping it real cute, real nude. But today, I'm going to try and step out my comfort zone and get creative, so wish me luck, y'all. I'm about to dive in. I decided to venture off from what I normally do, and I'm going to actually use this as my blushes. I might throw some in the waterline. I'll figure that out at the end. But... I'm gonna go blue because I love blue eyeshadow. Starting with my Urban Decay Primer Potion and putting that all over my eyelid. The Juvia's Place Taupe Palette unfortunately doesn't have colors, but I'm taking that taupe shade and I'm putting it in my crease to start my base. I'm going in with the shade Wasted to help deepen my crease. They are moving above me and thumping and bumping and making too much noise, so I had to go voiceover for a second. Then I'm going to take Lust and Jealous and mix them together and add them to my crease. Now listen, I know this is looking a hot mess, but trust me, it's going to come together. I'm still building. I'm taking the shade Fury and adding it on top of the other colors. I'm going to continue with Fury and start to apply it on my lids to create a deep base. Now I'm starting to layer in bold to add some shimmer to this look. I'm gonna take dope and bring it up into my crease. Then I'm gonna take fame and add that into my tear ducts. To create more definition, I'm going to take Dream and Egg by Me and I'm going to put that into my crease with a pencil brush. See look y'all, this mess is starting to come together. Honestly, nothing gives you the better pigment than the finger, so I'm taking my finger and applying more Dream. At this point, I'm just going to be blending out everything until I get my desired look. Taking a royal blue eyeliner to make my waterline pop. This shade Goals right here is a pressed glitter. I'm gonna add it around my crease to add more of a glitter vibe. I had no idea how this was gonna turn out, but I'm actually liking it. I am done with the eyes for right now, so I'm gonna move into my Fenty Beauty primer, because we're gonna get started on this face. I wanna say this is not the OG primer. I misspoke, this is the hydration one. And then I'm gonna use the Pro Filter foundation on top of it. No matter what brush I start off with, I always go through my M439 because it gives me the most flawless finish. Then I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Concealer in the shade 300 for more brightness. That one I actually wanna let sit for a second. So I'm gonna take my Crane Bronzer in the shade number five Teddy and I'm gonna warm up my face. Tap down here too, cause we're gonna slim out all this face. Feel like it sat long enough, so I'm gonna start blending. I 
I can't find my concealer brush. I cleaned it, but I didn't put it over here. So I'm about to just use what's in front of me. Just take whatever is left to blend out the rest. I decided I wanted one more layer of concealer. Got my sponge. So I'm just gonna use that, blend it out, and make sure that I don't have any lines. Cause I love a good brush, but I still feel like they leave lines. Probably didn't broke my damn powder. And this powder is sturdy as fuck it did not break Jesus I just know it's broken so when I contour I start with a lighter shade and then I blend it in so this is my Sir John palette from Luminous if you don't know who Sir John is you should look him up amazing this is the only shade that I will use to contour my nose going forward I love this so much that I have two of them Trusty Dusty Laura Mercier. I'm gonna use that for some brightness underneath these eyes. I don't really do the fake thing, but I will let it sit there. But I like to push the leftover powder into my skin. I don't necessarily like to brush it off. And because I have a base on my contour, my brownie bar from the Beauty Bakery, I'm gonna go into the brown and add some more deepness to this contour. I'm gonna go onto this orange for the blush. I'm gonna go into the sweet pinks, and I'm gonna add this shade on top of the orange. Whatever's left, put it around my forehead. Take my beauty blender puff, and I'm gonna press in whatever is left underneath my eyes. And I need that contour sharp. So I'm just gonna cut it. This is my Bare Minerals powder. Um, I'm a powder girl. I feel like powder just gives me the most flawless finish. I like to put it on top of everything, like in between stuff, just to seal things together. And then for this highlight, we're gonna be extra today on this highlight. We're keeping it real golden over here. As a base for my highlights, this is Danessa Myricks. This is her Illuminating Veil. If you don't know about her, you got to ask about her, look up on the gram. She is amazing. She is um, a makeup artist, but she also works in the industry. She creates new launches with brands also, like she's behind the scenes and also in front of the scenes with her own products everything that i've tried from her thus far has been amazing so take a little bit of this and i'm gonna rub it i'm just gonna apply it to the tops of my cheeks right here just down my nose where's my sponge I feel like i'm singing i'm just gonna blend it out with my fenty sponge This is just gonna be the base for my highlight, so my highlight pops. Um, so I'm gonna go back into my Beauty Bakery brownie bar and take this gold right here and let that be my first highlight. Well, my first powder highlight. Take it and hit underneath the brow. Usually don't do the brow bone, but since we be an extra today. Then I'm gonna finish with my Fenty Beauty Trophy Wipe because we just be an extra. So why not? Ooh, girl. I 
cover my makeup with my moles, so I always bring them back with my Essence Super Last Eyeliner. This thing is like a whole $3, but it gets the job done. I feel like I lost some of my pink on this cheek, so I'm just gonna smile again. And just add more to the apples. And then this is Nessa Myricks that's left over. I'm just gonna take it and rub it all over my chest so I can have a glow on my body. Because we don't waste product around here. So I'm gonna set my face with my Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. And now we can get back to these eyes and finish these eyes. So I wanna intensify, intensify my waterline, so I'm gonna add my Urban Decay Primer underneath to make sure it's gonna pick up the product. Smoke out that bottom lash line. I'm using the shade Dream to smoke out this bottom lash line. Then I'm gonna take the shade Jealous and I'm gonna smoke it out with that. Then I'm gonna go back to Fame and just pop that back in the inner corners. So my Stila Stay All Day micro tip and get this liner situation started. I'm able to line better with that one and I'm gonna take my Anastasia liner and just fill it in. So I'm priming my bottom lashes with my Lancome um, primer because I actually want them to show before we put this mascara on. All right, so speaking of Black Girl Magic, this Tint Edel, no, I'm sorry, this Lash Edel is a collaboration from Lancome with Zendaya. So I'm gonna use that to intensify these lashes. I have on falsies, but I like to use them to blend in my lashes with my falsies and also make them bottom lashes. For the lips, we're still keeping it going. This is Juvia's Place Cola. Has easily become one of my favorite liners. Line my lips. This is Juvia's Place Lady from the news collection. I think I'm actually gonna take a little Fenty Gloss Balm and put it on top. Actually, you know what? I have this Juvia's Place So Glaze Gloss and I'm just gonna apply, ooh! This thing is so pretty and shimmery. I'm so excited to so just dab this on top. Somebody is ready to go nowhere because it's quarantine. And then I'm finished with my Urban Decay Spray. It's gonna melt in anything and set leftover stuff. Okay guys, this is the finished result of the makeup. Um, I was just really excited that I had so many like black owned or black inspired brands to complete this look. Like I absolutely love it. It's so much fun. I don't really do color anymore, but I'm loving this color. I wish I was actually going somewhere so that people could see this, but it's okay. Cause y'all gonna see this. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these brands or any of these products. Let me know if you guys have any questions. With that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.